What's going on, everybody? So I actually ran into a top three opponent. I think this is B Back J Biz. What the fuck is his name? Um, Big J Back and Biz. Uh, I ran into him last week. Um, a lot of people that were in my stream told me that he was an IP booter. Um, you know, he paused. He paused the game. Um, so I got to take a look at his team, and while he paused the game, I put my mic on so that he can, you know, he can know that. Okay, first of all, so he had his kicker starting, which people were telling me that that's the way that you kind of like get to play teams that are like uneven or something like that. It kind of lowers your overall, so you can play teams that don't have that high of an overall or something like that. That's why you put your kicker in the start, some stupid shit like that. I don't know. I don't really care about those sciences. I want to play the best, and I want to do the best in the ass. Um, pretty much, looking at his team, though, it's, so it's solid. It's pretty solid, uh, the way that it is, uh, with the way that his lineup is. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at this, uh, just so that you guys can see what I'm going to be dealing with in the game. But this dude right here is garbage as fuck. Um, you know, and when I say garbage as fuck, I don't mean like, I don't mean it in a, um, in a hip hop sense. I mean like, realistically, he's garbage as fuck. He was running around, you know, it was, he wasn't even running play action reach around, he was just running around backwards and um, just doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. And uh, it was pretty wild. You know what I'm saying, bro? So, it, and then people were actually trying to send me proof during the game. I try to tell people, you gotta be on my friends list for me to actually see the message. So I can't see anything that anybody's sending me. You know what I'm saying, bro? No more free Randy. He was in my uh, fr uh, franchise league when I did the franchise. So he was able, you know, but I don't think I had him. Or maybe I did. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Probably that's why I was going through. I don't know what's going on. Um, it, it's it's pretty much a situation where, you know, people were actually trying to give me valid claims of proof. And for most of you guys that know me, you know, the old school, I used to definitely be more into it and try to help people out that were being glitch and shit like that. But now I just make sure you guys do it yourselves. You know, put it out there. If you have proof of it and I see it on Twitter and it's enough, I just retweet it. I'm not going to go further into it because it's too much complications with what people's end game is. And I'm not gonna fucking get involved with it as much as I was before because I, I'm, oh shit, what a warp tackle. Because I actually see what dudes are doing now, you know what I'm saying? So, um, as we get older, we get smarter and you get equipped to the game. It's better to just know validly that a guy is actually doing it. If you have it recorded, that's the fucking best way to be able to show that a guy is recording it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I mean that a guy is actually uh, IP booting and shit like that. So, once it's recorded and you send it to me, you know, a little snippet, um, and other people can, you know, back up your claims. I'll definitely retweet it and get it out to as many people as I can, but just not going, you know, as hard unless it's necessary. Unless it's a guy that is just like, bro, what the fuck, man? But like I said, with this guy right here, there was a couple people in there, but I haven't really heard anything about back in J Biz. I mean, back in the business, J Biz, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, so if he's glitched you, I guess you, the best thing for you guys to do is record the shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, show that. You were winning with the win-loss thing. I, I, you know, like the same way, the reason that I knew, you know, going way, way back, that I learned about glitching. Oh, that shit was great right there. He double teamed with Dick, Big Dick Lane and uh, Patrick Willis. It didn't matter. He still got the whole dick. I first learned about it, IP, uh, IP booting and glitching, by being glitched by Koopa 3 or Koopa X or whichever kind of Koopa he is. That's how I learned about it. So once I understood it, that's why I tried to help as many people as I could. But the way that the community is, People are so intertwined with so many different people. You know, it's, it's all about people's, you know, end result. It's about their individual end result. It's not about the actual community. So whatever I can do to see if I can help you guys with it. But this guy didn't do anything to show any signs of any of that. I, I don't know if he, you know, realized like, yo, bro, I, I probably shouldn't do it to this guy or what. You know, apparently he, he sends messages and talks shit before the game starts. He didn't do any of that shit. I can't get messages, so I don't know if he did do that. But I'm just saying, um, I, I didn't really... The game was mad smooth. He wasn't at fucking Taco Bell using McDonald's Wi-Fi. It was nothing that showed that this man is an IP boot or anything like that. But like I said, I can't say that he's not. I, you know, and I'm not gonna, you know, discredit guys that I've known just because he didn't do it to me. Because, you know, th that he, he, could be, he knew he was on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? I put the mic on after he paused the game to let him know, like, bro, you, you're an alleged IP booter. If you do this to yourself, it could, it, it, bro, it could possibly be the worst thing you did since getting caught beating your meat by your mom's dog. So he understood when I got the mic and told him that, and he didn't do anything. So that doesn't mean that he didn't boot anybody else. And like I said, you guys are free to leave comments, man, and, and, and tell me exactly what happened. Yo, this guy did that. And, you know, 
I could see what I could do about it and, and to verify that he is, in fact, the IP Buddha, bro. But like I said, I didn't get anything from that. So we're going to continue with this ass whooping that he was taking, bro. And like I said, I fucking duct taped his hands to the middle of his ass cheeks, bro, and just plowed him. And he didn't, he didn't pause the game anytime after. He, you know what I'm saying? Usually, guys are going to still pause the game and, you know, think about it. Like, yo, bro, should I still do it? He didn't do any of that. So I just, you know, usually it's a self-control issue. Like a dude that's a glitch that has no self-control. You know what I'm saying, bro? Look, the first pass interference call I have gotten online all year. I got to do a Holy Testicle Tuesday PI Exist replay. Bruh, he pushed my guy out the way. It is in the game. Thank you, EA Sports, bro. Thank you. Holy Testicle Tuesday, bro. Look, bruh, everybody just stops dudes. I, was that fuck? Was this? No, no, because this was prior to the patch. So I can't even say that it was the patch that did it. You, uh, you like the way I threw the ball through his guy's body right there? I like that shit. Um, right there, his guy's fucking blatantly fucking trying to swat it. And still, I fucking get it anyway. Whatever. And he said, there he goes. He has his own version of play action reach around because he just does it out of end. What the fuck? What the fuck is the... Is he going to make it for six? All right, fuck it. Yo, bro, he has his own version of play action reach around because he just hikes the ball and just runs like a maniac to the left or the right. It didn't, he had no system with it. It didn't really matter. That's what I'm saying. At least he was original. You see what I'm saying? Look, he just running around in the back with throwing it anyway. That should have been intentional ground and there was no receiver in the area, but have I, I don't think I've seen intentional ground in this year. I'm just happy I got a pass in the fans call. Um, but either way, like I said, getting back to his gameplay, he's a number three guy overall uh, on the leaderboards. And as you guys know, it just, it just goes by coin. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be that good. It just means that you play the game in excess. And you have a, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you just, you just accumulate a lot of coins while you do it. But he was, you know what I'm saying, like, this shit probably works against a lot of people, but the way my defense has been set up by playing more elite players, I've been able to kind of counteract that, that scramble on the outside. Some games when I'm not paying attention, I may just be doing whatever, but that could be a day that I'm under the influence of Tito's, a very hard wine, um, Hennessy, different things that I drink while I'm streaming, so it all depends. If I really want to win, I'll be sober. Um, sometimes I just don't give a fuck, bro. I just want to come out and play and try new shit. Um, BJ back in biz, though, he finna get this whole dick, though. And he ain't even gonna cry. Yo, he not even crying about it no more. Look, he just had the ball and start running. And then he gonna throw it to the dude right there. Yo, fuck it, bro. This shit reminds me so much of Madden 04, dog. With Vic. Dudes used to run all the way back and run all the way up and throw dots. Madden goes down in history as one of the fucking stupidest. All right, let's go. Look, bro, let's go, man. Good shit. Uh, so either way, the guy stayed through the whole thing. Except for he's gonna disappoint me towards the end. Um, and actually he's gonna do what, you know, we really despise here at G-Miles World, but we'll get to that point, we, we, you know, we'll cross that road when we get there. Either way, he sat through the entire game, um, listened to everything that the people were saying in the stream, they were clowning him, um, saying he's a glitcher and a bitch, a cocksucker, um, a cunt, a uh, little dick motherfucker, etc. Who the fuck was that guy throwing the ball to? That's a straightaway, is that a straightaway pick for six? Alright, good, they got him, alright, good. Alright, so, you know what I'm saying, so either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, the way the game was going, what the fuck is this? Why is he walking so slow? Alright, either way, the way the game was going, it wasn't really that much of an issue anymore. It just got, okay, he threw me a pick right away, straight, bro, straight away, like we were in England, bro, straight away. Um, and he's gonna, he's gonna have enough soon. Um, is it, is it this play that makes him have enough? I don't know. Okay, because he drops it, yeah, of course, Calvin Johnson's gonna drop the ball no matter what, he's a bitch. Um, he caught that, that's an old-fashioned user catch, I've been working on that. Um, what is this? Is he gonna catch that one? Alright, he caught that one. Okay, yeah, okay, so, yeah, that celebration. That made him quit, I believe. Is that what made him quit? Oh, yeah, praise the Lord Jesus, praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah, okay, so that made him quit. He went here, wasted my time throughout the whole game, and quit. But at least there wasn't that much time left. So you get to see what the number three overall in Madden is about. Uh, he quit. And that made me get ranked in the, in the 97.6 percentile or whatever. I don't give a fuck about that. Um, but let's go ahead and just make sure we can verify that this guy is there. There he is. He's number three. And, um, you know, pretty decent player, pretty decent stats. Like I said, I have no idea if he's a glitcher. Leave your story if he is, and we'll see what we can do about it at G Myers World. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, one love.